my video for the day. If you don't like it, unsubscribe, get off of my channel. Like, where are the black independent thinkers? All of this, like, even my videos, is, a, is probably boring. Just click off then, you know? If you've never created something and got compensated well for it, what is easy? Is easy going to a job where you hate every freaking day? What up? What up? <laughs> What's going on, guys? Today is uh, Wednesday, July 24th. Two thousand and twenty-four. In the middle of the work week, actually not, because when you're an entrepreneur, your work is Monday through Sunday. So um, that doesn't mean you're sitting up there doing things every single day, but your mind is putting things in place and making sure things are going the way that it's supposed to go, so. But um, yeah, it's a nice Wednesday. It is uh, 7.59. 7.59 right now. Uh, today on the agenda is, I shot three videos yesterday, so the first thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to probably edit completely one of those so that's one that's completed i'm not sure which one um and i have to do deep work on my startup today as far as learning um i, I would like to know anyone that watches this that maybe has an idea for a startup and, and maybe wants to make me wants me to make content about what I would do if I was starting completely over doing my startup. Uh, I think, especially young people, they should probably try it one time. If you have some type of intellect or you have some type of problem that you wanna solve, I would love to show you how to get to exactly where I'm at, right? Because trust me, it took it took uh, some time to get to where I'm at right now in my startup, and we're not at a point where I'm even happy with. But it took time to get here. So if uh, anyone wants me to, to, I mean, if you have ideas for application, uh, I was thinking about doing a video, maybe like how much it costs to do an app. Uh, if you're interested, let me know in the comments if you want me to make that video, because I, 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 I will, I actually want to, um, but I will have to do stuff on the board and, you know, really show you guys exactly how to go about it. And as far as like even the accelerators, I mean, listen, anytime you can start someplace and somebody possibly might invest 120, 100, you know, 150, 325, 500K into your business, you know, that's something you might want to look into. Um, even if you fail, that's the, the great thing about the startup world is companies fail all the time and failure is actually a badge of honor because people will give you money again. <laughs> It's weird. It's a crazy thing because like most of these people like talking about, hey, credit this, credit that, and leverage this and leverage that. Like, I would 100% rather start a technology company, get investors, um, not saying it's gonna fail, but if it did, like have that badge of honor that this company failed and now I have the knowledge and experience from what I learned in that other company to apply to my next company and then go out again and do it again. Um, people do it all the time. And not to mention, once you get your company funded, you are on salary as well. So uh, definitely something in this, but it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. Just like any, but it's just like anything else. Like what is easy? <laughs> like so for real, what is easy? Is easy going to a job 
where you hate every freaking day? Is that easy? Getting up, going to a job and saying, man, I hate this shit every single day? No. So, everything is gonna be hard. Everything is gonna take time, so you might as well do this shit for yourself. Jeez, sorry, sorry. It's 8.03, all right, so I need to get to work. <laughs> today I have some nice, good old deep work today, okay? Good old deep work means I got shit to get done, okay? And I want to show you some of these, some of these things. I, honestly, because I like, so I'm passionate about a few things, okay? I'm passionate, because I, I was an athlete, I'm passionate about athletics and where athletics can take an athlete. Like, literally, without athletics, without basketball, it saved my life. I probably, who knows where I would be, but I would have never been able to go to places I went outside of being an athlete, okay? Um, and it saved my life, right? The experiences, so I'm so passionate about what athletics can do to a young athlete from not that great of circumstances that can become something, right? That can help them to learn so many different things, teamwork, um, hard work, discipline, uh, so many, so many different things. Uh, how to, how to get over adversity, you know, how to be a winner. So many things that athletics teaches young men and women in life. That's why I'm so passionate about athletics. I'm also passionate about business. Business. I love doing business. I love creating things, and I love getting compensated for things that I've created from my mind. Um, I love looking at a problem and then trying to solve that problem and create something that solves that problem. It's nothing like it. If you've never created something and got compensated well for it, you haven't experienced something that probably will completely change your mind, your mind frame about the world. Because if you have, it's something different, different about creating something that's not in the world and then it's in the world and then someone compensating you for that creation that you did. Something about that that's just, uh, it's, it's, it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. And now it's less of that gonna be going on because of AI. So every, every, most people that are creating shit, they're, they're faking creating shit. You understand what I'm saying? If that makes any sense. Like AI created that shit and they just selling it. You know, it's different when you create some shit. You, 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 you created it. Like you, you, you created it. And then someone says, damn, I like that and I want that. And they purchase it from you. It's nothing, so I'm so passionate about that process. Also the marketing process. How do you find that customer? How do you you know, how do you sell that creation to people? I'm very, very passionate about that. Um, and also, right now, I'm very passionate about startups. Um, reason being is because I have no access. And still, where I am right now, I'm like, this is possible. This is going to happen. This is actually, this is happening. And I'm like, okay, well, I started with hardly zero knowledge and I'm here. Other guys can do the same thing. Men, women can do the exact can do the exact same thing. And on the topic of deep work, right? Uh, it's a lot of learning. Trying to catch up on a curve for people that's been doing this for 20 years, probably never gonna be possible. And um, I have to submit myself by the things that I've been good at, which is my great idea, my passion, and my story, and things like that. So 
Whereas people that are more experienced and they know this game, I have to try to beat them in other ways. Other ways that they are lacking in. Okay? Not sure if that makes any sense. So I'm going to do some good old deep work. But those are the things that I'm really, really passionate about as far as, you know, like athletics and business and also sharing the, you know, sharing this because I'm telling you, like, try to be a founder. Like, nobody's going to tell you nothing. I'm telling you, like, for real. Nobody, try, try to start a company. Nobody's going to help you. That's the first thing. Nobody's going to help you at all. Like, they're not going to tell you how they, what they're doing on a daily. It's, you know, it's like a secret society. It's like a secret society, and I get it. It's just so much money that's at stake. So much. And when it's a lot of money at stake, guess what? Regular people, you're not allowed, okay? So I got a lot of deep work, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to be working on today, okay? This is, oh, look. All of this is probably boring, you know? It's 814. All of this, like, even my videos, this is probably boring. But just click off then, you know? Because this it's no clickbait. I'm documenting this journey. And I feel like I've missed a complete opportunity to document this journey and put it out there from when I started because I've been filming this journey. But for some reason I was hoarding it and just not sharing what was happening in my life. Now I'm doing it every single day. Like I'm, I'm committed to do this every single day and it's nothing that I have to do special because this is my life, right? Um, this is really me talking to the camera. It's nothing, I don't have to be a character. I'm documenting it, trying to give some value and trying to inspire and shit, trying to build a business at the same time, you know? And, and my YouTube channel um, at the same time. So don't, for you, if you are, have document, doc, have you been documenting or you want to start documenting, I would say start. Less, less edits in your videos is cool. You know, that's what I'm doing. I'm not spending much time on editing. You know, I got my systems in place. How I edit my videos, all of them are the same. It's like a TV show. It's my shit, my TV show. But okay, let me let me go ahead, cause look, I can I can tell I got a lot to say today, so I can ramble on. This could be a 40, 40 minute video. That edit is complete. It is nine ten in the morning. Uh. Me a little over an hour to do that, man. That that part two is good stuff, man. It's really, really good stuff. So what I want to do, I want to show you guys this folder. Right here, that I'm working on from the startup. In this program that I'm in, they're helping me with my my thing. So this is my my deck, my pitch deck that I have right now. Uh, we all know this needs to go. This is good. This needs to be changed a little bit. Um, we need a different solution page because the solution, what I've learned, is not the product, okay? So that needs to be changed. Uh, the business model, we can, we're gonna do that a little bit different as well. Um, so, in that, 
these are the things that should be into the deck okay so this just gives the the breakdown of the elements of a pitch deck okay uh the title slide problem solution business model underlying magic marketing sales competition management team financial projections and key metrics and current status accomplishments like to date timeline so and then also like the use of funds like when you get an investor what are you going to use the funds for okay um so this is the elements of, of the pitch deck and it has the context and comments. However, a lot of these, a lot of these, some of these we have in our, in our deck right now, okay? And a little bit more. So we have to merge what's in here and put in what's in, what's not in, in my deck already, okay? So then you have this, these slides this is what something that uh, I was just taught this Tam Sam Sum okay uh, this is really really good stuff and I, I might go if if anybody wants to learn any of this stuff I will do a full video on maybe a pitch deck or something and how and if you wanted to do a startup where do you start from okay uh, value prop product okay so the ask how much you know how much you're asking for key issues things like that so this is basically the, the deck template i use this right here um for for my pitch decks tom tom or whatever i use this app So this is what I create all of my pro, all of my things in financial models, my sales deck, future of video, all of these things that I create, even the hero story framework. And this is my pitch deck right here, but I create everything in this app right here. It is not a plug. So now let's go into the sales and marketing. Okay. okay, so this is a simple slide. This is a simple slide right here from the action to the outcome to the expense to how many new users. This is very, very simple. And simple is actually the best thing, honestly. Like the action, what is the action, the marketing action for, for us, social media, um, what the outcome will be how much it costs and then how many new users did it garner. And this is something that you can use over and over again. Like this is very, very good and I'm glad I'm seeing this because uh, it's very, very simple. Action, outcome, expense, what, how many new, new users did come, come, came from that, okay? Um, well, what's this? Okay, so what should be on your pitch deck according to VCs? So you got a little bit and VC expectations. Let's see what this is. Clear allocation for funds, milestones, customer acquisition, product development, team expansion, and expenses. So for us to go into the pitch meeting with Launch New York, these are the VC clear expectations for the use of funds, where they're going, what the milestones uh, that the funding will help us achieve, the customer acquisition, um, interested in how the startups plan to acquire and retain customers, product development, 
Um, is the money going to development of the product, team expansion? Um, VCs invest in teams. Uh, I mentioned this before in the video about like being solo teams, 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 teams is the number one thing, seriously. And then expenses, you know, startups need to cover their day-to-day -day expenses, op operations and things like that. So, so that is a base of what I'll be studying today. I'll be breaking that down in some deep work today as far as making my changes in my startup to kind of mesh with what's needed for this investment firm um, so I can have the best results to possibly get them to write a check. Whew. Just finished up here on the court. Oh, man. Feels good. Look like it's about to rain out here, though. Thunder. So, I'm going to get out of here before I get rained on. Um, yeah, I've been in the process of unfollowing a lot of people on Instagram. And it's mainly because of this Kamala Harris nominee thing. Um, and what I'm realizing, what I've always realized, what I always knew, but what just reassures me is that the black community it's so clickish and if you're not in the click they ain't fucking with you at all like real talk um like when i see yo i don't care about her politics I don't care about what she did in the past, anything but Trump. Or when I see like 53 black men get on a call, a Zoom call and raise 1.3 million or 40,000 black women get on a Zoom call and raise all of this money, some odd million dollars, 1.4 or something like that. 
it just shows me a lot about the community and also the people that I've deemed to be heroes or I've deemed to be respectable people even sort of like uh like Russell Simmons like all of these people like it's such a click that all of these people that are in this click are showing alliance to Kamala Harris just because they're Democrats and she's a fair skinned woman not because of her policies because she even has policies it's simply no Trump and that's fine that's fine doesn't have to be Trump but on the other end Where's her policies? What's her history? What's her history of leading? And I know she does not have a history of leading up into this, like this magnitude. A country that's in dire needs of someone to make a change. During her vice presidency, you didn't even see her. Um, and you have all of these people, mainly celebrities or, and all of these black media outlets. I unfollowed all of them, all of them. And it's not because I'm like, yo, you should vote for Trump or you should vote for Kamala. It's because it's the sheer fact that she's a fair-skinned lady because she is not FBA, she is not black, she's Indian. It's because she's a woman, that's another thing, and because she's Democrat. That's the other thing. It's not because she would be a great leader. Not at all. Like, we are so, so off of the, like just off the mark completely, especially as black people. Like the alliance that we have to celebrity, the alliance that we have to the Democratic Party, the pandering a lot of men have to women that they're married to or they, or they date, it's disgusting. Like, where are the black independent thinkers that make decisions for their self? Where are those people that make decisions because that's the best decision to make instead of going along with the go along, get along gang? And because someone has money or because someone has celebrity status, that means they have um, a higher priority and people follow them just because of that. It's like, it's sheer bullshit, like really. And one thing about me is I have never been popular amongst the black people I've never been in a clique they've never allowed me in a clique thank god I could play a little bit of basketball so I can um at least not get jumped every day <laughs> for real because that's how much people didn't like me so it's only fitting that I'm where I am doing what I do because this is, this is sheer, it's, it's so concerning. It's so concerning, it's so concerning, it's so concerning. And like I said, it's not because, yo, I'm pro Trump, I'm pro this. It's not because of that. It's because what has been proven for everyone to just hop on this bandwagon and say, hey, it's Kamala Harris or nothing. What, 
what is the what has she proven that she can be a good leader and i'll wait and that's my video for the day if you don't like it unsubscribe get off of my channel i'm only looking for like-minded people that are independent thinkers like myself just that simple peace